Hi there guys, something a little bit different to all you today. Um, first up, I apologise, you got no video last week, we were busy on site, uh, we were extremely busy on site. This week, you're getting this, which is not quite what you're expecting. Now, Big Clive touched on something a few months ago, and if you've watched his videos, you'll have doubt seen his one with reference to Aussie Bloke 50. He is right. It appears that among us creatives um, and us engineers that there is a tendency for us to have some kind of dark inside us. I don't understand it. I don't know what it is, but it seems to be quite common. Um, and it means that a lot of us don't handle Christmas, don't handle the holiday period too well. Um, I have my issues with the holiday period. I have my issues in general. They're not for this video, um, to some extent not for public consumption. Everybody's different. Um, but the knock-on effect is that while society is feeding us, force-feeding us brandy butter and happy fat men, a lot of us are actually just, no matter how many people are around us, a lot of us are just incredibly lonely or just feel like somehow the whole thing is passing us by. Um, and it's not uncommon, especially in the times that we're in now. So, I guess what we're trying to say here is you're not alone. It, you are not the only one that feels like this. It's not abnormal. It's not something strange. It's just the product of the pressures that are the Christmas period. Um, Valentine's Day is often the same for obvious reasons, single people and all that. As Clive said, there is a darkness that lives in us. Um, there definitely is something inside us creatives. We need to be busy. We need to be doing things. And for a lot of us, there needs to be an evaluation of worth that we, we, we carry out internally. Um, and sometimes we come up short on this value of worth which leaves us just cast adrift at sea. And you end up with that feeling that, well, you know, I've not done anything. I've not contributed anything. Why do I bother? What's the point? And I don't need to explain to you that know the way this reasoning works, where this leads. So I guess the first thing is you all have value. You all have worth um, and you all contribute in your own ways. Um, it's difficult to quantify sometimes and when you're at the bottom of that pit staring back up at the daylight it's very hard to see um, but I guess the key is to remember that it doesn't matter how bad it gets how nasty it seems how bleak it seems that there is always going to be someone out there that's got your back it, and it's these people that we need to learn to reach out to and respond to. A lot of people will say, yeah, just snap out of it. I'll just call the helpline and that. It's not that easy. Yes, it's a good start. And if you can get to that stage, then yes. But sometimes all it needs is a text. If you're feeling that low, it's hard. And for those that have never been there, it's cripplingly hard and impossible to understand but pick up your mobile send a friend a text just say hi have a conversation it's human contact and those of us that are in this boat tend to sound up, surround ourselves with very few friends but those friends tend to be very high value um, and they tend to be people that are in the same boat as you or they understand where you are um, and these are the people you need. These are the people that will pull you back. They'll laugh, they'll joke. Uh, they'll say, well, actually, I think you need to talk. Let's go get a coffee or do something like that. These are the people that we need. And these are the people it's very difficult to remember that we have in our lives. So if you're struggling with Christmas, I realise Christmas is gone, but New Year's coming up. New Year can be the same. A lot of us are loners by default, which doesn't really work with the, with the holiday in the Christmas season but reach out to someone send that text just the contact and let everyone know that you're all right because these are the same friends that will worry about you 
um, and they will check in on you. It, it, it's hard to explain. It's someone that's been at rock bottom and managed to climb out of that pit. You can do it. Um, I don't know why it affects us, uh, why we're wired differently, or, you know, why that's the case but it is and the same the same applies to those of you that have been working over the over the uh, christmas period especially the emergency services the odds are that you will have seen the absolute worst of humankind at some point over the last few days and it does make you question why you bother human contact again just a text message just a hi even just a hug and those of you that know people like us sometimes that's all it is just a hello how are you that's all it needs it's hard for anyone who has a lot of emotional baggage family problems and there's no shame in reaching out and saying well actually i'm not okay actually there is something wrong no it's not a merry christmas for me I don't know how to carry on from that um, but I guess it is that at the end of the day when you're at the bottom of that pit as hard as it is as difficult as it is, it is you need to reach out and if you surrounded yourselves with the kind of friends that know you and know what you're going through they'll reach out for you as well every life no matter how fucked up and there's me demonetized if I was. No matter how messed up, no matter how difficult, no matter how utterly hideous, has value. Everyone contributes to society in their own way. Even if you don't want to be part of that, you are still contributing. And a large part of what makes us human beings is the ability to reach out and ask for help and give help. And quite often the way it's asked for and the way it's given doesn't have to be the way that you understand it. Sometimes just a good friend giving you a hug, just someone shaking your hand, just that, whatever that signal is between you and those that you know that everything well, it might not necessarily be all right, but it's actually a lot better than it seems at the time. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to kill this one off and upload it. Um, I would say Merry Christmas, but we've done that already. We've got the New Year, Happy New Year, and that. There's a lot of things I want to do going forward in the New Year with the channel. This isn't the place to cover them. But if this makes one person stop and just say hi to someone that needs it, give a hug, or just maybe feel a little bit better about the way things are at the moment, then this video has done its job. Take care, people, and keep Can you hear, can you hear, can you hear my